think I'm about to save another marriage with this Filipino beef steak recipe. Ooh, let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do, we need about two pounds of London broil or sirloin or something. I actually have this big, thick ass uh, rib roast. It's about two and a quarter pound. Uh, it's got a bone in it, so I'm gonna cut the bone out. Anyway, you just want some uh, kind of a tender cut of beef and you want it sliced thin. I'm gonna slice this real thin. I'm gonna get some of this fat off. Um, it's easier to slice meat thin while it's still frozen or partially frozen. This is pretty frozen, so I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to get through. Let's see, yeah, see? Cuts easier when it's frozen, girl. So that's what you're gonna do. You just wanna slice it. Thin slices, okay? You get the point, okay? So I'm gonna slice all this up thin. And then uh, we're gonna put it in our marinade. All right, we got our beef all nice and sliced thin. Now I'm gonna make the marinade. Put it in the marinade for at least three hours. You can do it overnight if you want, but you want it at least three hours in the marinade. All right, girl, let's make our marinade for this here steak, okay? So what you want is a half a cup of soy sauce, okay? half a cup of lime juice. That's about eight limes. <laughs> Took me like eight limes to get a half a cup. Okay, half a cup of that. And then you want one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. One tablespoon of sugar. Come on, sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna put one uh, teaspoon of salt. Okay, one teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna put a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's it. That's all you need for this here marinade. Okay. And you want to stir it up. We'll stir it up real good. Then we're going to put our meat in there and coat it real good. You can also put it in a Ziploc bag, which is probably what I ought to do. Instead of this bowl, it would be better. I might just do that. Anyway, that's it, girl. Put it in a bag or drop it in a bowl, whatever, and let it sit at least three hours, okay? You can even do it overnight if you want to. I'm gonna let mine probably about five or six hours and then we'll cook it. All right, we'll be back. Now. All right, girl, after our meat's been in the uh, refrigerator marinating for at least three hours, mine's been in there at least 24 hours. Uh, just because I didn't have time to cook it. I poured it in a colander just to let the marinade come off of it, but you want to keep that marinade, okay? I caught capture it in a bowl. So here we go, let's start cooking. I'll get you a big pan or a wok. Heat it up. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of oil in there. I'm gonna use some of my oil that come off my garlic confit. Okay. About a tablespoon of that. Trying not to get the garlic in there. But... <laughs> yeah, a tablespoon of oil. Put about seven to eight cloves of garlic in there, chopped up on medium heat. Just when that starts to brown up a little bit, put your sliced onion in there. Slice it around, cook it. Break them up in the ring first, what I should have done. But. <laughs> Don't move it from the heat if you need to. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't want it to overcook. Now you learn to break that shit up. These these onions don't want to break. Shit, come on, bitch. Okay. Oh, 
piss me off. Good. All right, now. <laughs> Damn, Steve, bro. You just gonna cook your onions a little bit till they get a little translucent. Couple minutes. Hold the onion there. That smells good. Once your onion gets a little bit cooked like that, you want to remove about half of it out of there. I'm just going to put about half of this on a plate. It's going to go on top. Okay? I'm going to put that on top. We're going to leave a little bit of it in there. Put a bit more it. Okay. This is going to be our topper onion. This is going to be... We're just going to keep this in here. Then you want to add some more, another tablespoon of uh, vegetable oil. What I got there is the garlic, garlic oil. Man, this is going to go crazy. These onions are going to get a little more brown with that garlic. Y'all okay. see that good? This is still on the same heat, medium heat. All right. Now we're gonna start adding our meat to it. This meat, remember we sliced it real thin. And you're gonna stir fry this meat for about 10 minutes, okay? We'll come back. Come back in 10 minutes, okay? Keep kind of stir frying it around a minute. On medium heat till we get it to start to cook, about 10 minutes, okay? We'll be back in 10 minutes. Alright, so. It's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of, go ahead and pour the rest of your marinade on top of it, and then you're going to keep cooking it for another 10 minutes. Uh, I did, we're going to put some pineapple in this uh, to garnish it. Uh, you need a 20 ounce can of pineapple if you want to put it on top, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, about three hours before I started this, uh, about four hours ago, I did pour a little bit of this pineapple juice in the bag with the marinade. Because I wanted to just make sure it wasn't too uh, salty. I want to give it a little more sweetness. I tasted the marinade. I thought it was a little strong. So you can do that if you want. The pineapple will also help make the steak more tender. Okay? So anyway, 10 more minutes. We'll be back. While I'm waiting on that, you know, since it's uh, New Year's, I got me a little uh, pecan flavored uh, bourbon. Well, pour that in there. And then, uh, some eggnog, girl. <laughs> Gotta have you an eggnog drink on New Year. Hell yeah, girl. Mmm, mmm. All right, we got about two more minutes left of cooking, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put my pineapple in there. You don't have to do that. You can wait, put it just on top, or put none at all. But uh, I just want my to be a little bit heated up. I'm gonna give it a little stir, and then we'll cook it two more minutes, and then we'll be done. Okay. All right, I think it's done. Now. 
just gonna put it onto our pretty little dish here so you can serve it to your new year guest Steve I'll have to do it next year because this video just came out <laughs> it's alright girl it's ain't a new year's dish I just made it you can eat it anytime you want it's just a Filipino beef steak them drippings on there. There you have it, girl. Filipino beef steak. Hell yeah. I think we might have just saved another marriage. Let's give it a taste, honey. All right, girl, let's see. Let's give it a taste. Got me a little taste, little little sample here in my little glass bowl. Looks really good, girl. Now, I used a, a cheap cut of a, a you know, primary of a ribeye was uh, to make this but uh you can use sirloin you can use london brawl you could use anything really girl as long as you slice it thin it'll be it'll be pretty um tender okay let's give it a taste mm -hmm. your mouth honey that was good oh what a way to bring in a new year right there mm. <laughs> she break get that bitch up i can't even talk it's so good get that bottle of champagne out right now let's pop it i ain't even waiting till midnight mm. oh so damn good you gotta try this one like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, girl. Happy New Year. 2023, 2024 now. In about six hours. Love y'all. Bye.